We have to see how they perform in the endurance race next. Teams have two and a half hours to get as many laps in as possible. The most nerve wracking part will just be the length of it, yeah. Over a period of two and a half hours, all teams have had to ride around the endurance course, climb hills and overcome obstacles as many times as possible to see who can finish with the most laps. When needed, teams are allowed pit stops as well as the option to periodically swap drivers. And now, it's the final stretch to the finish. After two and a half hours, the endurance race is over and South Dakota got first place. Right, but they can't celebrate yet. There's more to winning this competition than just winning the endurance race. They have to also factor in the design scores and the innovation scores, and those weigh heavily for the judges. During this event, teams also had one more obstacle, the security lock test. If the judges could not break the lock within the set time, then the teams can win bonus laps. All right, first place overall for the 2017 Human Power Vehicle Challenge East goes to number 32, Rose Holman Institute of Technology. So Rose Holman has been one of our top competitors for years on both the East and West events and they have put together a really nice design with a lot of innovation this year. I'm feeling great. We were thinking it would be really close. We were right. I think the hardest part was just passing other people in them to make sure we didn't actually like knock any cones over or anything like that. So that's it for eFest 2017. For more information, visit eFest.asme.org. Party like an engineer. <laughs> oh, high five. <laughs> <laughs>